right let's start so in this question what does it say the task is about sales competition for staff in a shop the people who work on the tills have to sell some soft toys there is a competition to see who can sell the most you have to give your manager the results of the competition it asks you to fill in the table below with the total number of toys each person so da 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 it's all written so the total value of the toys each person sold now you got ross here who has sold eight teddy bears and the cost of each is 10 pounds and he has sold eight rabbits cost of each is seven pounds and he has sold in a total of 21 of them right so total number of toys sold what will be the total number of toys sold 29 29 which is 28 so 28 uh, 21 plus 8 Nine. which is 29. 29 and the total value of toys sold how will you calculate that uh, 8 times 10 yes so that will be 80 oops sorry it's going to be 8 times 10 plus 7 21. times 21 so that's plus 7 times 21 the answer will be 227 so I'm going to write that down over here so the important bit over here that you got to note is it says it says show your working so how am I going to show my working so let me do that yeah so show you working so eight teddy bears sold at 10 pound each so total value will be so what will, what will it be um what about 10 pound oh, 10 80. times 8 so it's what going to be 8, 8 times 10 okay plus 21 times 7, times seven. is going to be equal to 227 so that's the working out for the first one now let's do the second one okay what Mohan has to do so Mohan sold 10 teddy bears at 10 pound each so 10 times 10 plus 24 teddy bear, 24 rabbits at 7 pound each plus 24 times 7 268 so working on for the second one oh let's write his name down Ross Mohan will be 10 times 10 plus 24 times 7 which will be equal to 268 <coughs> excuse me Next, we're going to solve it for Nimita. So that's Nimita sold 10 teddy bears at a rate of 10 pound each. So 10. Oh, that's, oh, that's 15, my bad. So that's 15 mm -hmm. times 10 plus 8 times 7. 8 rabbits at a rate of 7 pound per rabbit. It's going to be equal to. Let's do the calculation here. 15 times 10 plus 8 times 7, 206. Okay, so that's 268. Let's, let's write this information down as well. 268. Third one is 206. Total number of toys again now it's 10 plus 24 is 34 mm -hmm. and Nimita sold 15 plus 8 which is 23 next one let's calculate it for Charlie Charlie sold 16 teddy bears at the rate of 10 pound each so that's 16 times 10 plus 16 rabbits at the rate of 7 pound each so that's 16 times 7 
should be equal to now this is let's use the calculator it's going to be 160 16 times 10 plus 16 times 7 which will be equal to 272 Charlie so the total of 16 plus 16 which is 32 and he sold total money he got was 272 next is Abby which is 11 teddy bears at the rate of 10 pound each Eleven teddy bears at the rate of ten pound each, plus twenty-two rabbits at the rate of at the rate of seven pound each. So that's twenty-two times seven, which will be equal to. Let's do the calculation. Eleven times ten plus twenty-two times seven. 264 yeah so this will be 11 plus 22 is 22. cool nice and 264 so that's one a sold let's move on now oops that's done next who do you think should win the competition and give one reason so obviously if you look take a look at it the person who sold the most toys okay who's collected the most amount of money should be the winner right because it's a competition money the person who makes the most money will win so here looking at all these Charlie has got 272 so winner's name will be Charlie And the reason is Charlie collected the most amount of money. Charlie made the most amount of money selling the toys. Good. That's done. One B done. Question one C. The winner gets a prize of fifteen percent of the total value of the toys he or she sold. So how much is the prize money? Now we know that Charlie is the winner, so he sold a total of two hundred and seventy-two in total. So show you're working now. So Charlie, Charlie will get a price of 15% of total amount he sold. So how do you calculate percentages? So percent means per hundred, okay? So 15% can be written as 0.15 because it is the same as 15 over a hundred now whenever you want to find the percentage of something you literally times it by the value that you want to find the percentage of so in this case we want to find the percentage of total amount of money that Charlie made so Charlie made 272 pounds in total yeah so Charlie will get a prize of 15% of 272. So how will you solve this? Simple calculator, our best friend in maths. <laughs> okay. So you can either do it two ways. You can either write 0 0.15 times 272 or you can write it the long way 15 times 272 equal to 
and then divide the answer by 100 and you press the to the decimal form 40.08 so 40.80 so Charlie's prize money will be 40.80 pounds this is how you calculate percentages Moving on. Oh, that's the last bit. 1A. Choose one of your calculations in 1A or 1C to show a check. Check by different method to one you used originally. You can use approxim approximation. I am going to check 1A or 1C. So now we have properly calculated everything for okay, I'm going to write here Mohan mm, and uh, here is his name here that's Ross so we have shown one calculation here and uh, in one C as well we have shown a calculation so what I'm going to do I'm going to take both of them because you have in fact uh, calculated both of them and it says write your check here so I'm just going to write step 3 again uh, uh, total price Charlie one will be Total money collected times fifteen over a hundred because it is fifteen percent. That's going to be two seventy two times fifteen over a hundred, which will be equal to forty point eighty pounds. That's one e done. Now, Marx distribution, very important. First question, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in total. You calculate the total value for all of them, you'll get your four, full 4 marks. And you show the working out, that's 4 marks. Second question, very simple. You're just justifying who won Charlie, 1 mark for that. Third question, mm, winner gets 15% again a simple calculation total money Charlie made noting it that down one mark 15% showing that it is 15% is 0 0.15 second mark show your calculation third mark okay sorted the fourth question you just show your working out again two marks easy done Right, so now we are going to look at how to solve 1D, which says draw a table to show the results of the competition to your manager. And your table must show the results in order. This is important. Total number of toys each person sold. Total value of toys each person sold. Winner and a prize money. Now, if you take a look at your data, total number of toys sold does not correspond to the total value of the toys sold. What I mean is Mohan has sold 34 toys in total but he has only collected 268 pounds. On the other hand Charlie has sold 32 toys but he has collected more money compared to Mohan. So we can organize this data in two ways. One by the number of toys each person sold and the total value of, to uh, total value of toys each person sold. I have made two columns here, one by total value and one by total numbers sold. So now I'm going to take a look at total numbers, total value. 
so total value starts at 206 which is my smallest value now I said I'm going to uh, have my values written in ascending order which means going from smallest to largest so 206 is the smallest value followed by 221 then 264 268 and then 272 206 was Namita who sold a total of 23 toys so name is Namita number sold is 23 followed by 221 which was Ross and he sold a total of 29 toys followed by 264 was Abby sold a total of 33 toys followed by 268 which was sold by Mohan total number of toys sold was 34 68 so that's number sold is 34 Mohan and he sold it that's Mohan and Charlie sold 230 Charlie sold a total of 32 toys Charlie and hence my winner is Charlie so that's prize money wins 272 and Charlie sold a total of 272 hence he wins 40 pound 80 so that's 40.80 yeah I'm going to erase this pounds ignore this so now we look at the position so Charlie here is the first then followed by Mohan who is second then comes Abby who is third then Ross is fourth and Namita is fifth now we take a we uh, organize the data by total number sold so total number of toys the highest was Mohan so number sold 34 by Mohan or we can followed by 34 Charlie who sold a total of 32 toys followed by Abby who sold 33 sorry second person after 34 is 33 which was sold by Abby then comes Charlie who sold a 32 toys followed by Ross who sold 29 and then finally Nimita sold a total of 23 now I'm going to write the name against them 34 was Mohan followed by 33 was Abby 32 was Charlie twenty nine was Ross and then followed by Nimita so if you go by the total number sold Mohan gets the first position Abby gets the second position Charlie gets the third position Ross gets the fourth position and Nimita gets the fifth position 
and then we write the total value against each each uh, 34 toys sold for 268 33 sold for 264 then 32 sold for 272 followed by 29 sold for 221 and Nimita sold 23 toys for 206 now this is the position by the total number that's the position by total value that has to be noted now in your answer key your your position has been given in the same order as uh, the total value so please make a note of that and this is the total winner and the prize money so that's charlie wins 40 point 80 pound as his prize for selling all of the toys so another thing to note is here my values go from the smallest to the largest this is called ascending order and here my values go from the largest that is the number sold that it goes from the largest 34 to the lowest this is called descending order so i'm going to make a note of it so that is a s c e n d i n g ascending order and this here is called descending order 